Well, I love a topic where Brian and I get to debate a little bit, and of course today we've got at least one of those. We're going to talk about spraying corn post-emerge, and much of the corn right now is Roundup ready. So we're going to talk about some of those tank mix partners for Roundup because, well, really Roundup's got a couple big weaknesses. It's got tolerant or, in some cases, resistant weeds, and also we've got the high price of Roundup. So we need some tank mix partners here. <laughs> okay, the main thing I want to focus on is the high price of Roundup. If you look at Roundup today, it's 10 to $12 an acre. I think that's ridiculous. Next year, it'll probably be half that price. Here's what I would do if I was you. This is what we're doing on our farm. We're cutting the Roundup rate in half because I figure, you know what, half a rate of Roundup is going to kill all my grass anyway. No big deal. Then, since we're saving money on that side of things using a half rate, we're actually throwing in maybe a little higher rate of Callisto or my favorite product in corn, Stata. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I like Here status we so well is because we have so much wild buckwheat in our area. So it just depends on what your situation is. We like status because wild buckwheat we have a bad problem with. And, you know, a lot of the other weeds, you could go either way. You could use Callisto. Or oh, Adonis. here's the backtrack you know, I was looking that. for. Yeah. All right, now, first of all, I guess I just wanted to elaborate on a couple of things. Brian said a half rate of Roundup will kill all your grass. If you have annual grasses, a half rate of Roundup or a pint Fox of Roundup tails, per acre bit. does pretty good on yeah. those annual grasses. If you've got perennials, you're going to need a high rate of Roundup, probably higher than you can spray in corn anyway. So you're going to use that half rate of Roundup with a full rate of a residual broadleaf herbicide like Status or even an even better choice would be Callisto, <laughs> Laudus, or Impact. Any one of those three products, they all come from the same chemical family. They're the family that turns weeds white and they work really well. The other thing that I like about those products, in addition to a broad weed spectrum is they're pretty safe to the crop and you can spray it on a little taller crop than you can the status and still maintain uh, that safety window. Yep. Now seriously we're just joking around. Status has its fit. Callisto, Laudus, Impact, they have their All fit. good products. Those are, those are two totally separate things. Here's what we do on our own farm. If we've got buckwheat problems, we try to get after those early. We like to spray the status early so we don't have to worry about drift and so we don't have to worry as much about crop safety. Even with this crop safener in there, we're still not real big risk takers. And, you know, maybe that safener is, is great and we won't ever have a problem, but I still kind of worry about it a little bit. And I figure, you know what, we can get our spraying done by the time the corn reaches V5 anyway. So we'll just do that with the status. Then we take the rest of our acres where all we have is some lamb's quarters or water hemp, something like that, that Callisto and Laudus are great on. And then we can spray a little bigger corn and we don't have to worry as much about drift. Well, if we're looking at 10 or 12, dollars for a full rate of these residual products and 10 or 12 dollars for a full rate of Roundup, which would you rather have? Something that's going to kill the weeds for now and for several weeks in advance or would you rather have something that's just going to kill the weeds now and if a weed pops up tomorrow, hey, you're just going to have to deal with it. That's why we're cutting back on that Roundup rate this year and going with a full rate of the broadleaf product. Now let's say that Roundup gets really cheap again in the future. We'll probably go back to using a full quart of Roundup and a reduced rate of these residual herbicides. It's up to you. Either way is going to kill the weeds and should provide acceptable control this year. It's just a question of how you want to spend your dollars. Yeah, but speaking of the control part, I look at the resistant or tolerant weeds and a lot of people are worried about this. And so I just say, well, that's not too difficult to take care of. You can spend the same amount of money as what you were doing when you were going full rate of Roundup and a half rate of status as compared to you just go half rate of Roundup and a full rate of status, same money spent and I will absolutely 100% guarantee you, you will do a better job on broadleaves when you have that high rate of status in there and the half rate of Roundup versus full rate Roundup half rate status. Okay, now when you're spraying on corn, there's a number of things you can do and there's a number of different spray timings. So you'll have to watch this as well. For us, just to be very safe to our crop, we don't like to spray anything that has dicamba in it taller than V6 corn. So once you get to six collar corn, we're switching over to a Callisto Laudus Impact on our farm. We just don't want to take any chances. Now status has a crop safener in it. It's labeled for taller corn than that. But the other concern we've got is a little bit of the volatility issue that we have sometimes with dicamba. We've got soybeans that are up to just to be a little bit safer and to be a little better neighbor we're just cautious about that well once again you do have some options in roundup corn you don't just have to go roundup don't get stuck in that rut I would say that most of the people that we deal with, most of the farmers we deal with across the United States, they are not spraying straight Roundup on their corn anymore. They're adding a tank mix partner. Either they're running full rate Roundup and a half rate of a tank mix partner, or they're going full rate of the tank mix partner, half rate Roundup. Either way should work depending on your weed spectrum. Well, one of the weeds that Roundup may need a little more help on is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 